So I've seen this on Twitter. Uh, my guy Marcus, because you're bored, made the thread, pointed this out to me, which I'm very good. It says Igoran has private and public code chains, right? So the main chain or the public chain is the one that we're all using to use Yieldly, to use AlgoFi, to make sure that we can make all our transactions, our NFT projects, all the marketplaces, right? That's the public one where all data, all the information is fully transparent and you can see it, right? My transaction has wallet addresses and whatnot. Code chains or private chains, you can't see this information. And that's what makes it very interesting. Just got brought to my attention. So we're thinking, okay, what could we do with a code chain? What Marcus brought up, which is a great idea, is that he brought up El Salvador. So it could be a high possibility. Please, if someone can confirm this, leave a comment in chat, get at me on Twitter or Instagram or other socials. Let me know what El Salvador is doing. But in terms of Algorand's Rails, Algorand's technology, so what the foundation or Algorand Inc. is doing is that they license this technology out so that people can create private chains or code chains. So I feel like that's what El Salvador is possibly doing. Everything on these private chains, essentially, they're hidden, they're secret. Only people that are using them would know what's on them. The only chance that they can become visible is when that co-chain interacts with the main chain. It's either to bring assets in or out or to use co-chain to co-chain, which the main chain is in the middle, right? So Algorand play in the middle. We all use it as a public, but you can branch off and build private chains. I think that's really interesting. So we're going to go click the video and have uh, Silvio also break this down quickly and uh y'all let me know what y'all think about ability <laughs> for newcomers trying to make sense of all this can be rather confusing so here's my question for you how would you best describe co-chain's architecture in layman's terms all right so uh, thanks Derek. there's a lot of um, big challenges many chains and um, a very prolific uh, community about the generating co-chain and side chain so let me tell you about a, a co-chain. A co-chain is an independent chain who runs a very Algorand protocol for his own consensus and then as a, a privileged bridge to the Algorand the main chain to transfer assets so that they can actually be transacted with other co-chains on the main chain. And once transacted, say, assume that two people swap two assets, then they get reabsorbed in the main co chain. So come again. What is a co chain? He is independent. What do we, why is it independent? Because they run their own consensus. What does this mean? They, they name their own validators. They give them the weights that you can do, remember. And they run which consensus protocol? Algorand. Why? For good and valid reasons I'm going to explain in a second. So there are essentially, they run a permission version of Algorand. And once in a while, guess what? The world outside is bigger than the world inside, and they may want to transact with the rest of the world, with the Algorand mainnet, with another co-chain. And so we are here to help on the main chain because you, as a co-chain, you can transfer assets to the main chain, transact them there, sell them at an auction, or swap them with another asset. And then you can repatriate money or assets as you can be after the transaction to your co-chain and leave um, um, uh, privately uh, uh, thereafter in, uh, until the next transaction with the rest of the world in which you transfer an asset temporarily on the, on the main chain, you transact it there, you sell it there, and then you repatriate whether money or other asset to your co-chain and so on and so forth. That is a oh, okay. So, y'all, what we're saying here is that, as Silvio just beautifully broke down, sometimes a little hard to hear as Silvio, his accent in English, but what we're seeing is then private chains are a licensed technology that have their own validators, their own consensus, their own information. And the only time they become visible, again, is when they interact with the main chain or with the rest of the world 
as Silvio says. So very interesting, something to think about. And if y'all definitely have more information on El Salvador, how they're using the Chiva wallet, or if they're using a private chain, please let me know. Very interested in that situation. So moving forward, we're going to head over 